Right, so we're going to move on now and we're going to talk uh, boxing of, uh, well, a different kind. And we are joined in studio by a promoter, young promoter, I must say, Akira Solomon and uh, uh, Jody Solomon, who's also been in the game for quite a while. Ladies, good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Good thank evening. you for having us. Thank you. Right. Akira, let me start with you. Relatively yes. young in the game. I mean, we know Jody has worked with some of the biggest names in boxing, including the likes of uh, Roy Jones. Uh, uh, how long have you been in the fight game? I would say two years, two and a half years coming this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just started, I uh, started white collar boxing and now we've moved into the exhibition and I'm hoping to get into professional boxing towards the end of the year. Talk, talk, talk me about that difference because the event that you're talking about, the Clash of the, sheep, uh, yes. the Chiefs, is, is uh, basically headlined by a musician. Yes. Uh, but there's also real boxing involved. Tell me a little bit about it. So it's headlined by Clash of Teeth Big, uh, Big Zulu. He'll take to the ring for his first celebrity boxing match. And then we have nine undercard fights. Um, we have some trainers getting involved. Shannon Stratum, Shadow is getting involved. Um, Sebastian Rothman and Grant Habib. So it's really going to be an awesome day of boxing and live entertainment. And, and what is the big idea behind it? Uh, is, is it just a celebrity match or is there a big idea behind The big idea is hopefully to get Big Zulu to fight Casper your vest. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. That's, yeah. It's the lead but up. That looks like a mismatch though. Um, I guess so. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I, it's I guess so. But I, I suppose in the music world it would be an, an incredible, yeah. incredible fight. And also for us if we put it on it would help us create awesome awareness because we do all our events in aid of gender-based violence. So a portion of all the proceeds will be donated to Sankhya Gender Justice and the Frida Hartley Shelter. So it just helps us create a bit more awareness for these causes. And, and I think if you think about it from that perspective, Akira, it's uh, boxing, which is the fight game, yes. and you're talking gender-based violence. So the yes. message is very close. Exactly. So we're trying to change the narrative and trying to show that um, boxing is a combative sport. It doesn't promote violence of any kind. Um, it's got rules and regulations just like any other um, like any other sport, and therefore we don't stand for, for violence or gender-based violence. I want to bring in um, Jody. You have trained many uh, champions in South African boxing uh, internationally and otherwise. You recently, I think uh, about five years or so, partnered with uh, uh, world champion is on right, uh, a legend in boxing in Roy Jones. Tell us a little bit about that partnership. Um, so, yeah, Roy and I have been working together since 2016. Um, we started working together just after Isaac Chalemba fought um, Sergei Kovalev. So Roy and I have a great understanding and friendship, and I just love his technique. His technique in boxing is unbelievable. So, you know, through the years he's been showing me, teaching me, and we decided to open a gym together in 2018 in Craig Hall, and basically I teach his technique of boxing. So, yeah. And, and how has that been? Has, have we seen an improvement in terms of the boxes that you train, uh, learning from uh, the techniques from one of the, arguably one of the greatest boxers we've had. Sure. Well, I think if you, if you know Patrick McCalla. Yes. Right. So if you've seen Patrick McCalla box previously, last year he had three fights with me. Those were his first three fights with me. There's been a fundamental difference in Patrick's movement, his speed, his agility, his work rate. So they, they, it does. It promotes a huge difference in boxers if they're willing to learn. It's not so much changing the style and making them like little Roy Jones juniors. Yeah. It's just about teaching them the technique. Not everybody picks up his style. Patrick seems to have done that pretty well, but it's the basic technique of how to throw a punch, how to throw a left hook, those kind of things that Roy does slightly differently to how we've all learned the basics of boxing. So it must be a challenge, though, for you now, training a musician in Big Zulu. It's actually been wonderful, let me tell you. He is so committed to boxing. He's so committed to training. I often say to him, I wish some of the professional boxers would be as committed. Uh, he's committed to his diet. He's running. He's at the gym every day that he doesn't have to commit time to his music. He's at the gym training. And he trains with my professional guys. Mm. So it's really been amazing. It's been a, a blessing to have somebody like him in the gym. Technique-wise, how is he? he? Oh, he's coming along. Yeah? Like, he really is. I mean, obviously, he's never come from a boxing <laughs> background. So when we started off with him, we honestly started from scratch. And um, I'd say in the four or five months that we've been training so seriously, he really, really has picked up a lot. Like um, he was sparring the other day and he just like was having fun with it and you could see a little bit of movement coming, a little bit of speed. I mean, 
for his weight and height, he's relatively fast, I would say. So I guess there's a little bit of hope for me then. <laughs> there's always hope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to talk, Akira, about... Um, the, the, the fights themselves. You said there's uh, quite a number of them. You mentioned yes. quite... Uh, how, how, do, how does it work? So Big Zulu will be fighting. Uh, is it like uh, proper boxing or is it uh, exhibition? It will be an exhibition fight. There, there won't be any headgear though. Um, all the other fights will be wearing. And he's fighting three two-minute rounds. Okay. Yes. And in, in terms of the involvement of other people, like you mentioned, the likes of Colin Nathan, what sort of uh, involvement? So there? we have celebrity guest judges for our other fights. So Colin Nathan will be one of our celebrity guest judges um, with Hayden Bruce Jones. And then we'll have Ricky Chavalala on comment, uh, commentary on the day. All right. And, yes. and, and uh, you, when, when and where is the event taking place? So it's going to take place on the 23rd of April in Craig Hall Park at AJ's in the Park. Um, and people can buy tickets on web tickets. All right. Uh, I, I want to just uh, throw a few things uh, to you, Jody. Um, as somebody who's been in the fight game, yes. what, what, what's your take on the celebrity fights in comparison to some of us who are purists in terms of boxing? Do you think they enhance uh, the game itself or do they take a little bit away from it? Um, I, ha I think there's a bit of both. I myself am a purist. Like I really believe in amateur boxing going into professional boxing. I like things done the correct way. However, I have seen that there's been a lot more interest in boxing since the celebrity boxing has started. What I'm not so sure about is the payment that goes with the celebrity boxing. Um, I think celebrity boxing is great for pr uh, promoting the celebrities. Do they get what paid they more do. than the boxers? That's, that's my issue. Wow. Uh, not always, yeah. but I do think that some of these exhibitions and um, celebrity fights that happen especially overseas, the payment does undercut professional boxers who work hard. This is their living and they should be you know, paid for it. So on that point, I'm, I'm kind of iffy. But on a whole, I do think that it brings people who wouldn't otherwise come to boxing an opportunity to see what boxing's like. And the way Akira sets up her, her events, it's a fun-filled family day. She has um, performers. We've had Tamara Day. We've got Shelton Forbes on this one. We've had Majosi. So it's not just about the boxing. It's bringing a, a whole environment where the family can come and enjoy it and hopefully developing fans moving forward with the younger generation as well. It's not just, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm hoping that, well, I can see that the interest has grown from what and the way that Akira puts on tournaments. All right. Um, so how long do you think it will take to get me in shape for a fight? Oh, come on, man. Just <laughs> only about two years. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just finally, for people who want more information about the Clash yes. of the Chiefs, uh, where do we go to find that? So you can find us on Instagram, Seconds Out Promotions, or RJJ and JS Boxing. Otherwise, you can find on web tickets. We've got a write-up on it there. Fantastic. Akira and Jody, thank you so much for coming through thank to you for talk us. to us. Uh, and yeah, I mean, uh, it's uh, something that is coming out a completely different. Uh, Big Zulu, a musician headlining a boxing event, but all uh, in, uh, uh, you know, looking at the issues of gender-based violence, but also to promote the fight game.